I'm just trying to get us some space because I know what's coming. Hi, I'm Dr. Christina O'Malley and this is Better Science Teaching. I just made a video for you tonight um, that I wanted to share with my fellow Girl Scout leaders. This is my Girl Scout uniform for my troop. Um, I've been an assistant and then a troop leader with them for four years. They're second year juniors. They're just about done with their bronze award. I'm super proud of them. But it's been really challenging with us going to these online formats and not being able to meet in person to do cool things. For Girl Scouts, spring is the, we're done with cookies and also let's go camping part of our year. And so um, we're used to doing things that are outside and together. And now we don't have the opportunity to do that. So what I've been trying to do with my troop is find things that we can do that um, that are not just me giving them a list of tasks that look like homework. We're trying to actually do some hands-on activities. And so one of the ones that I found for them um, that they could do pretty easily with a little bit of guidance was um, the first part of junior mechanical engineering. The first step for that set of three is a paddle boat challenge. And so this video is walking you through um, how to do a paddle boat challenge with your troop, kind of by watching how, how it went for us today. The materials aren't that unusual. It's cardboard, rubber bands, scissors, pencils. Um, you could make it a little bit fancy if you use something like a plastic bottle. <laughs> that's, that's as exciting as it gets. And it's actually pretty easy to go through all the steps. So um, if you like this video, please comment below and let me know. Um, I'm happy to help you guys come up with ideas for doing some of these STEM badges specifically. Those are the ones that I particularly enjoy, even though I do do some of the other ones. The one that we did last week was um, staying fit and independence. Those two worked together with how to stay healthy and getting outside and being active. And so we thought that that would be a good opportunity to help our to help our troop get into some of those routines now that we're at home and not in school. But this went over really well. So I hope you enjoy this video and you get something useful from it. We're gonna start with a scavenger hunt. Are you guys ready? Scavenger hunt time. Yeah. All right. You might wanna have, you might wanna jot down these things. You ready? Wait, wait, wait. Do I need to write them down for you? No, I already memorized them. You've already memorized them? Okay, so you need to get um, some cardboard. Box, cardboard. Cardboard? Cardboard. You need to get a pair of scissors. Very good. Scissors, cardboard. Um, that's Box not where I was going. Six. Some rubber bands. Rubber bands. You need something like a chopstick or a pencil. Long stick. And you're not you're not gonna ruin them. You'll be able to use them later. Chopsticks so or pencil. Um, and you need some tape. Okay. Okay. What else? Tape and rubber bands. All right. So here's what we're gonna do today, guys. We're gonna build a paddle boat. Ooh. All right. All right. You get, have you ever built a paddle boat before? Do you know anything about paddle boats? Sort of. Sort of. Okay, so the thing about paddle boats is that these things have been used for a very long time to get big ships sort of going up lakes and across and up streams and river. Probably not a stream, it's not gonna fit a stream. Paddle boats are usually, um, they're pretty famous in the Cincinnati area, actually, for, for going up the Ohio River. But we're going to build a model of one, and then we're going to test it to see if, it, if it'll work. We're going to need some water. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make something that's buoyant, that floats. We're going to build an axle, um, and we're going to use that to paddle with power from the rubber band. Did you get two? Yeah, that's a better choice. All right, so in your cardboard, and you might need a parent to help you with this, you need to cut your cardboard into a shape like that. It's a rectangle or a square with like a hole in the middle. Do you guys see that? It's like 
like a big notch has been cut out of it. And you don't want these sides to be super thin. And you need it to be something that you can get the rubber band across. So where's your rubber band? So like Josie's got this rubber band, so she's gonna wanna make it so that it's kinda, when she pulls her rubber band, it's kinda straight across there. So you're gonna wanna make sure that when you, that this distance matches up with your stretched out rubber band. Okay? Thumbs up, it's good? Yeah. Okay, so where's your cardboard, Josie? Is anybody doing the doing it with a, a bottle instead of cardboard? No. no. Okay. Do you want to trace it out first? You can get this big star in the middle. That would be cool. Okay. <laughs> I need marker. So, oh, you want your marker first? <laughs> there you go. Hold that. Oh, that wasn't what I was thinking, but okay. That's fine. So you need to cut like like this. If you want to keep the star, you can. Cut it like that. Oh, look at that. All right, so you want to make sure that you've got a notch on it, like in, in the side. And you're going to want to cut that out as one piece. Okay, so see how long this is? And you want this to be kind of, kind of deep into the rectangle. So I would go, do you want this to be longer or do you want this to go in further? Mm, further down. Because we're going to cut it anyways when we do Why do you want to keep the star? I did. Stop. It doesn't matter. It's a boat. Like that. Like something like this? Yes. I know you guys are excellent engineers, so if you decide that in the end you want to change it, you can change it. How's that? Sad. Why is it sad? Because I lost the star. I know. Well, what I thought you would do is draw it like this and then cut this notch. And then the star would have been in the center. So you want to cut it out? Okay, so now I got my middle piece. Do you guys see how the middle piece fits in there? So what I'm going to do first is make it a little bit more narrow. So I'm just going to cut, if, I'm, if I've got it like this, I'm just going to cut, cut the edge a little bit so it fits in a little bit better. We don't want to cut a lot off though. It does look fancy. All right, so now mine, it, it's got more space in there and you want it to kind of be able to move in there. Okay, you guys ready for the next step? Oh, we're gonna make it yeah. You guys ready for the next part? Now we're gonna take this part 
and we're gonna cut it right right across the middle here like hamburger style and not hot hot dog style cut it like a hamburger not a hot have you guys heard that before yeah yeah so so it's cut it music. cut it like a hamburger use it for folding i know it's usually a folding thing so now these are my pieces like that Okay, hold on, I'm gonna write on these real quick. I cut them in half. That's great. So now what I'm gonna do is those two pieces, I'm gonna cut a notch that goes into the, like towards the center. So if you want, you can wait for a second and I'll do it and then show you again. Well, try this one, and if you think that, that it's that it's not gonna work, then you can always do it again later. Okay, so now I've got these two, these they're they're cut. See how it's cut? And then I'm gonna do this. And it's if your cut should be far enough that it that it kind of lines up. Mine's not quite there, so. Hi, Vanessa. Vanessa's here. Hi, Vanessa. I can't see you. She's working on it. Wait, how do we do this? Olivia. So you have these two pieces of paper with like a notch cut halfway through, so like not cutting fully down, and then they should answer it like this. So you guys who have the paddle done, did you get some tape? Awesome. So what you want to do with your tape is kind of, kind of make this so it doesn't like. You guys see how this is like floppy? You want to kind of make it so it's not floppy anymore. So that it holds it holds still the, i think the best way to do that is to probably take your tape and then try to stick it down in those creases so, like this? so put it down down in there and then do that on each woo, on each side you want to do it josie do we need to cut the here i can give you a piece of tape so rather than use the scissors, go back towards the middle where it might be. I like one of them. Figure that out. Okay, um, where do we take it? Work it together first. Where's our rubber band? Oh, there it is. Well, they do. I was helping. Here. How are you doing, Naya? Looks good. <laughs> you have a nice little paddle wheel there, Naya. Oh, are we done? Woo! How are you doing, Olivia? Okay. She's taping her paddle. Cool. Okay. Oh, 
cool. Josie's Josie's trying to guess how this works. No, you said that it should stretch. <laughs> Here, so Josie, I show them what you're doing. No, you're right. Okay, you guys see what Josie did? Because you said that was the instruction. I know. Okay. So when you when you stretch your rubber band across there, you can take this guy and you want to slide that in there, but don't just like don't just slide it in like that, because that'll fall out. You have to stretch it so that it's on opposite sides. <laughs> well, you see how this works? So what you can do is you can store elastic energy in this by spinning it up like this. And then what happens if I let go? It'll go spinning out to remove I know. Are you guys ready for this? Watch this. Yep. It twisted. I think I think we're gonna have to trim ours. <laughs> So you're gonna trim it so that it'll go through there? So maybe just, just trim off that corner. Did you get the list, Vanessa? If you go if you go cardboard, scissors, rubber bands, you don't need chopsticks and tape. Or no, you still need tape, but you won't need chopsticks. Do you have cardboard? No, not vanilla. Okay, so do you Yeah, that'll work. As long as you have some like some pencils or some chopsticks or something. Straws probably aren't stiff enough. Okay. Uh, don't know if I have the okay, you guys ready for I'll, this? I'll try. I'll find I'll try to find something. You okay. guys ready? Hold on. That's perfect. Okay, I, Why don't you go put some water in the sink? Uh, that all it is. Do you want to put it in the in the bathtub? If you put you can put like this much water in the bathtub. Does it work, Naya? So Naya, what you need to do is make it so that the rubber band is on either side of that thing of your paddle. <laughs> How did you do that? Okay, Naya. So the way that you're gonna fix that is you're gonna trim you're gonna trim this piece here and this piece here so that it fits. Okay? Does it work, Olivia? Did you get it to spin? Okay, so what you need to do now is either put, you know, like look at your look at your boat and you need enough water that you can float it in some water. So you can use like you can use your sink. Or you can use a bathtub. Any of those is fine. So how many rubber bands do we need? You only need one, but you need what? Let me see your bottle. Okay. So what you're gonna do with your bottle? I have a can here. I need a can as well. Nope. I, it's just okay. a stand-in for a thing. You're going to take whatever your sticks are, your chopsticks or your pencils, and you're going to tape them to the sides. Like that. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, hold on. I need to put tape on. I might need the... Does it fit, Naya? Yeah. You're doing a great job. Okay, Naya. Did you get your pencils or your chopsticks? Stick them on your stick them on your cardboard so it has some support. But it was pretty easy to make that out of cardboard, right? So if if it doesn't work, you can always make another one. I have two unsharpened pencils. Wonderful. So you want those to be on on the side of your container. Like like that. And you want them to stick out on the end. Okay. So. Olivia, do you have a place where you're going to test it? I Jos somewhat have a place. Josie's filling up the tub upstairs. 
She's just doing the uh, whole go yeah, big or go good. home. Good yeah. Business. Are those stuck on there? Not yet, but looks good though. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, I have to turn Yeah, that's a great job, Vanessa. Are you ready? I'm gonna spin it as much as I can. Well, I can spin it a lot. <laughs> Miss Mandy, the rate of people just running away is pretty hysterical. Do you think this is twisted enough? Are you ready to go test it? I'm gonna go test it. Oh, I'm coming with you. We'll be back. Goodbye. Okay, can you guys see it? Okay, so it's twisted up a lot. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, it looked at me. I think you wound it the other direction. Turn it around so that the paddle goes forward. No, no, you're driving it towards the wall. Turn it around. <laughs> I agree with it. <laughs> Try it again. It's gonna get soggy if you leave it in there, honey. Well, you can dry it out and try it again later. The problem was that when, when it spun, it was spinning it towards the back. Josie, just spin it up. Okay, the top is spin. Yeah, it might be too wet now. Looks good, Josie. So test, test it spinning first so that you know which way to face it. Paddle boat, mark two. So, so yeah, so if you spin it way. like that, you're gonna it'll go that way, right? This way. She's gonna whine till she can't whine no more. Yeah. How'd you change the design? I made it, this paddle a lot smaller so it wouldn't rub or get stuck. It's stopped. the rubber band really good. It's so stiff. Oh my gosh, it's so twisted. It's gonna zip all the way across the bathroom. Yeah, I probably shouldn't do it. Is this good? That looks good to me. Yeah, there you go. You gonna test it? Here we go. Can you guys see this? Yep. Yes. Okay. Three, two, one. Yeah, it work? Kind of. Yeah, you can do it either way. All right, so the end of the video just has my daughter Josie running her second prototype of her boat with a few modifications that she made. Um, that's part of doing this badge and part of the, the, the design thinking process um, that we teach even, even as part of my curriculum as a high school science teacher. So having giving them the space to be able to make adjustments is a really good thing for this badge. You don't want to give them a perfect um, a perfect set of instructions. You also don't want to, you know, over pattern it. So when I was literally holding up shapes on a post-it note, that was very intentional. That was so each of the girls in my troop could do a slightly different boat. Three of the girls were doing cardboard boats. One of them didn't have a big piece of cardboard and so she was using a plastic bottle. So you probably noticed that I was trying to give her some instructions on how to use a plastic bottle and make it work. And what was interesting about that is that the four girls that were watching together could look at each other and see what they liked about each other's prototypes. Some of the things you didn't see were that uh, some of the girls 
figured out early on that their boat was going to get soggy and waterlogged and sink. And so they were trying to cover it in packing tape. Make sure you get okay from parents to do that because they were using a lot of packing tape. But that's, but that's part of it, part of improving your design so that it functions better. So that's, that's a really great thing to see. Um, <clears throat> you also want to make sure if you do this design that you throw in some of the extra vocabulary. Here in Girl Scouts of Western Ohio, um, most girls are familiar with Cincinnati and the Ohio River. And Cincinnati has a great culture with paddle boating and every year there's a festival called Tall Stacks. I think it's still going on down there. I went a few years. Um, where they actually bring in paddle boats and you can get on them and you can have a dinner cruise on them. It's very cool. Um, but you want to make sure that they also learn some of the terms axle, ballast, buoyancy, engineers, um, force. Talk about where the energy comes from to to run these boats. In this particular case, it comes from uh, energy that's stored in the rubber band the same way that energy is stored in a spring. Um, and then prototyping. That's one of the ones that I emphasize a lot with my girls is building prototypes. Um, my particular group of girls, they all have experience with first Lego League. So the idea of a prototype and then improving it is not a big deal. One of the things that I noticed is I had two girls that actually had had built a second prototype by the end of our one hour piece of time. So I thought that that was pretty cool. Um, I hope you enjoyed this movie. I hope that it was helpful to you. Um, I would love to hear about how it went with your troop. So if you're willing to share that with me, I would, I would really appreciate that. I hope that you have a great day. Stay safe. Be well. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.